Never in a million years would I thought I'd be doing what I'm doing right now. Big Grove is uh, two locations. We have a brew pub in Solon, Iowa, which is a small town just north of Iowa City. And then we did a big expansion in Iowa City this last year. It's a really dynamic business. There's a lot of different facets to it. It's, it's part concert venue, part restaurant, part bar, part brewery. My mom was in the restaurant business. Uh, she had a little bar and grill called Sluggers in Coralville, Iowa. And so that's kind of how I got my start. And then we branched off and opened different restaurant concepts around the Iowa City area. Big Grove came about with Sluggers actually flooded in 2008. So we put a restaurant in that had a craft beer focus. And when we did that, it was the perfect time. Everything kind of exploded. Demand was my, my biggest reason to jump into it. I felt that the demand was growing. I still think it's growing. Innovation is the game right now. Look around the country. You're seeing mainstream beers drop. You're seeing hazy IPAs. You're seeing Berliner Weisses. You're seeing fruited beers. Everything's changing. And yeah, there's a lot of breweries, but there's a lot of people drinking beer. So, you know, I think there's a lot of opportunity there to, to grow even more. I was very open about what I was trying to do and I was homebrewing a lot and I would literally be giving tours of my homebrew facility in my, in my basement and showing people what was going on and what I was doing and serving them beer. And then over the last year or so, they've been coming into Big Revive City and I've been giving them a tour here of what's going on and what we're doing and some of the beers we're making. And they're like, hey, you've come a long way from your five gallon basement brewery. And like, yeah, um, a long way, and it's it's been pretty cool. It, it is kind of a realized dream. I I believed in my beers so much that any time I thought about like quitting or not brewing anymore, I was just like I just believed so much in the beers I was making that I didn't. I thought that was stupid. I'm like, you got to keep doing this. You're, you're making good beer. You're making solid beer. People like it, and so it kind of just kept me going. Packaging is kind of our next huge foray, so we, we just got a canning line this week actually, and so we're ready to start putting our beer out in, in, a, in a can format and start going to the high bees and the retailers around the area. So when I moved back from Colorado to kind of get my own brewery going, I ended up starting to work at a high bee wine and spirits for a few years. When we get canned beer into that high V and I can go back to where I was and be like, this is what I set out to do and here it is on the shelf, it'll be a, it'll be a fun moment. We actually were leaning in a completely different direction uh, on which way to go with our equipment and that way was getting expensive, and so we ended up calling Alpha. I think one of our friends had heard about them, and we called them, and we said, hey, we're in Iowa City, we're interested in this brewery, and they jumped right on it. We had people here, I think, within a week, meeting with us, talking to us, uh, getting us ready to go, and they set the right tone uh, from the beginning, and they had a lot of value. The cost of their equipment, the quality of the equipment was there to my brewer's standards, which was important. The amount of equipment we purchased at once, being able to handle that kind of an order, you know, for us was a big deal. And then the logistics, making sure everything came, showed up on time, was put together. And the support's been there too. So when we make the call, you know, they're there to help us and fix problems. We were actually debating on which cane line to go with and kind of the same story. Um, we called Matt and said, Matt, hey, I'm thinking about going this direction, what do you think? And he's like, you're not going that direction, you're going this way. And I'm like, well, I don't agree with you at all, so tell me why it's better. 
and then he walked me through and, and we ended up deciding to go with the Alpha unit because it just made more sense for us as a, as a company.